Hello again, you too. Here we go with your math lesson, week six, lesson four. And you're going to need the Top Marks website to start with. We're going to play another subtraction game. You've got to get really quick and confident at recalling simple subtraction facts ready for year three. So in the search, type in loop cards. Now look at that subtraction section. Pick which level you want to start with. You can either subtract within 10, within 20, or stretch yourself within 50, or even within 100. Let me show you how to play using within 20. If you start here, your sum is 19 take, six, take away 6. So you're looking for a blue answer for that question. And if you click on it, it slots it into the loop. Click and drag. So your next sum is 17, take away 8. What's that answer? Click and drag, and it drops it into the loop. Now if you go all the way around, your final question, the answer should be 15, look, to complete the loop. Have a go and try different levels. OK, then, now for the main part of our lesson. We're going to be adding three small numbers and we're going to be using known number facts to help us. So that's things like our number bonds, doubles and near doubles. Let's see. So if you have this sum, you don't have to do it in this order, six, add eight, add three. You should know some number facts to help you here. It's being cheeky and sneaky again, really. Hopefully you know that six add three is nine. But then you've got the 8 to add on. Now you could do 10 add 8, couldn't you? Because that's a no work question. It's 18, isn't it? But you should only have added 9. Take one away. So the answer must be 17. You might not have spotted that fact. But maybe you spotted this number bond. 8 add 3 is 11. Because 8 add 2 is 10 and you add one more to get to 11. Then you can add the six by being cheeky and sneaky again. You should know that one add six or six add one is seven. So 11 add six must be 17. Now adding three small numbers might be too easy for some of you. So let's have a go at adding a few more together. Remember, we're looking for facts that we know. How about this one? What number facts do you know that could help you to work out the answer? Pause the video and have a chat with your grown-up or your big brother or sister. Maybe you spotted the number bond to 10. 7 and 3 makes 10. Hopefully you also know that 5 plus 4 is 9. And then that's a no work question, isn't it? Think of the place value cards, push them together. 10 out of 9 must be 19. You might have done it another way. That's perfectly all right. Now we're going to use our known number facts in cheeky sneaky ways to solve some word problems. Have a read at this one. Pause the screen. Now on some square paper, would you write down the sum that you need to do to work out the answer? So you should have written that. Now, underneath, I want you to show me how you could solve that using a known number fact. How can you let me know what went on in your brain? Maybe you notice you've got a number bond to 10 again. 6 and 4 is 10p. And you know that. what the answer is here. Easy peasy, 19p. My pen's running out, sorry. The next part of this problem is, I want you to work out how much change Annie would have if she bought these items and she paid with a 20p coin. On your square paper, can you write down the sum that you now need to do? And of course, write down the answer. Here's another one to have a think about. Michael and Mum are going to the shop to buy sweets. Michael has 11p in his wallet. 
and a 5p coin in his pocket. Mon has 7p. Okay, how much money have they got all together? Write down the addition sum on your square paper that you need to do. Show me some known number facts that you need to use to help you work out the answer. So this is the addition sum you should have written down. If you haven't done that yet, pause the video, get it written down and look for those known facts. Pause the video while you do it. You should know your number bonds to 12. You should know that 7 and 5 makes 12. But then you've got the 11p to add on. Think how you'd do that. So the answer was... 23p. Don't forget the p sign, so important. Ooh. What about the last part of the question? Have a read and write down your answer. Find this in your pack now, page 19, and there are some more word problems there for you to solve using your known number facts. Write your answers on some square paper, please, so that you can show me, you can record what went on in your head. Which known number facts did you use? There are some trickier problems on the next page, page 20, for a little bit of extension. Again, write your thumbs on the square paper and show me your working out. Most of you should then be able to have a go at mastery checkpoint 34. And then you can go to the Enrich website for DOM and have a go with the dominoes. Don't forget there's copies of dominoes in the emergency Google pack if you've lost yours. And the more maths, try these down the side. Have fun boys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!